was Steve White Trick Boy 89 for Steve Arts 89. Well, TrickMovie.com had an article, an interview with Dave Blass, who was the, um, I think, the production designer on season three of Star Trek Picard. And it was pretty amazing seeing him talk about, in detail, it's quite long, um, about basically designing all the sets and how difficult it was, how they really, um, it's like, well, you need to create this set for nothing out of something or we can't afford to do the D. Um, and just the amount of redressing and how creative they had to be because in order to get the money to build, and this is the sad thing, they wasted so much money on Discovery um, and um, some of those other shows that were, yeah. And then they didn't give them any money for this show, the best show. They could have they could have gone so far with all the um the the accurate sets um for the for the era and that. And the other thing I love that he said, and I'm gonna read his what he said out here. Um Star Trek is not a sci-fi fantasy, it's a historical drama that takes place in the future with fifty five years of history. Knowing the history is really what you have to do. You don't have to follow it, you don't have to make the things look exactly like that but you have to know the iconography it's the same way if you were designing a world war ii movie you don't just put a typewriter in that's not period appropriate it's the same thing with star trek you have to have a period appropriate thing if you're going to have put a chair in there you have to know oh that chair was used in the original series so that's 100 years old so you know that wouldn't work so the fact that he knows what he's doing and just the fact someone said that out loud apparently it's on the dvd i think maybe this is I'm not sure if it's an interview on its own or if they were talk talking about the um, one of the special features interviews that they um, did, maybe both, but um, well, I don't know. But the point, the fact someone said that, and it's on trickmovie.com, that Star Trek is a period piece, because this is something that we fans understand, but you know the makers of the New Trek shows just didn't respect it at all, and they, they just changed every, anything and everything because... Either they don't care about what we think, they don't care about breaking the fourth wall and, and sort of ruining, ruining it for us because, you know, it really does take you out of the moment when, you know, you're, you're in supposedly the 24th century and then you see something that doesn't work, something that they pulled from, like, Enterprise, which was, or, or um, sorry, Discovery from, like, 100 and so years before and stuff like that. So it's just, it was nice to see someone say that and to see it actually get printed Instead of because you say that as as a as a fan of Star Trek, and the trolls and and the New Trek fans and the Drekkies will attack you, and you know, say that you don't know what you're talking about. You know, it's a visual reboot and it doesn't matter. And I'm like, what you're doing is the equivalent of having people on the Titanic walking around with mobile phones and saying, oh, it's a period accurate piece. That that just makes it more relevant to um you know new audiences. So so it's no, you can't do that. It doesn't work. And something goes with Star Trek, you can't change something like that that's been established. It basically shows you either don't understand or you don't respect the, the, the canon and the reality of of the show because you've got to create a reality for people to invest in and believe in and they did that for 40 years with Star Trek. And then these new people come in and they throw all that out and expect people to just walk into their, uni their warped sort of universe and accept it as the same universe even though it contradicts and doesn't represent it and changes it and the idea he actually said it's not a science fantasy it's science fiction it's a period piece set in the future and you have to treat Star Trek like that because that's how it's always been treated and what the fans expect so this new Trek sort of idea of it can be anything it's a fantasy you, can, you know it doesn't work now I know there's a whole new audience of new Trek fans who don't care about the original Star Trek or what it means but um, artistically creatively it is more genuine, um, but yeah, they don't care. So it's kind of interesting, but I, I just, I just, that whole quote is the reason for this video. It just got me so excited to see someone say that out loud and to see it be printed and put on Trek movie instead of people like, because I've said that a million times and I've been attacked for it. Um, but um, apparently someone is, maybe someone's listening up there and maybe the next season, or the next show or whatever that we get is going to be more relatable. I know they made um, um, Strange New Worlds a different timeline so they could basically get away from being a different universe um, because it's effectively the same thing anyway. But um, it's just so funny, all these people have been arguing for years that it's canon and it's prime 
when they don't understand that Prime was the was the creation of J.J. Abrams to to take place of the original series because they didn't have the rights to it, um, and they'll argue that it is canon and everything. And now you know we know that actually it's a different timeline, and it's not canon to that universe or that timeline. It's actually a whole different thing, and that at least makes it sort of okay and it makes sense now because it doesn't matter as much that they change things because it is actually a whole different um, timeline and effectively a different universe. Um, so it's kind of okay they never actually admitted that it was a different universe because by creating the time, the timeline issues, it's basically the same thing. So it doesn't bother me as much. But the fact that some fans still won't accept that and still insist that the series is canon and, there's, and it's just bizarre. But um, I just love seeing what, what he said and that it was in print from mainstream, you know, Star Trek media.